Okay, we're gonna look at Microsoft Word document security and safety. There are a few ways of protecting your work or protecting your documents to either stop people from being able to access them and open them or to have specific people access and, and edit the files to just making it read only from the start. Let's have a look and see how we do that. So here I have my Word document open and I'm gonna click on file and I'm gonna to go to info and here is the first thing here, it says protect a document. Let's see what options we have. Click on protect document. We have uh, always open read only, encrypt with a password, restrict editing, restrict access, add a digital signature or mark as final. I'm gonna go through a few of these with you. So let's have a look at uh, always open read only. I'm gonna enable that. Okay, so it says here to prevent accidental changes, this document has been set to open as read only only. So let's have a look and see. Uh, I'm gonna just click on save, close the document down. Here it is here, I'm gonna open it. So when I open the document, you'll notice it's gonna give me a message saying the author would like you to open this as read only, unless you need to make changes. Open as read only, yes or no. So if I say yes, then you'll see in the title bar, it says read only. There's the name of the document, read only. I can go through the documents. I can make edits, sure thing, but I can't save this because if I go control S or I click on save, I have to save it as a different name, okay? I can't save it as the same document. So that's not gonna help me very much. All right, so that's one way you can secure your document. I'm not going to save that for now. I'm going to open it again. Do you want to open this? No, I do not. Thank you very much. And back to file, info, and protect document. Take off the read-only section there. The next one is encrypt with password. So now I can password protect this Word document. This is really nice. If you want to send someone a document, a Word document, via email or chat or any other form of communication, you can protect the document. So just in case someone else gets their hands on the document, they won't be able to open it up unless they know your super duper secret password. And let's see, encrypt with password, great. So let's type in a super duper secret password, P-A-S-S-W-O-R-D, <laughs> no one's gonna crack this one. Trust me, I use it for everything. P-A-S-S-W-O-R-D, easy. And click OK, I don't know how to spell password. So I'm gonna try that again. I, got it. I can't talk while I'm typing in a password, so just like work with me here. Gotcha, all right, here we go. This document has now been password protected. I'm gonna just make sure I'm gonna close the document down, save anything that I might have changed, open it up again and watch what happens. I'm gonna double click and here comes the file. Enter a password, so if I type in anything, okay, that's not the password, click okay, nothing I can do. And uh, yes, if you forget your password, uh, that's a big no-no, you're gonna be stuck, okay? So let me type in my super duper secret password. Oh, darn, did I, <laughs> do you see what happens if you don't if you don't remember what type in your password properly? Okay, what was my password? P-A-S-S-W-O-R-D, I'm sure I typed it in now. Okay, here we go, whoo, close one. There we go, okay, no problem. That's password protecting a document. Okay, file, uh, info, there it is there. So let's just take that off. When you're taking the password off, take it away. All right, click OK, done. So that's the second way we can protect a document. Let's have a look at what else we have. We can restrict editing of the document. Let's see what that does. Restrict editing. And here I have this little panel that pops up on the side. At the moment, there's not much I can do here other than limit formatting to selection of styles. I can change the styles if I wanted to. Take that off. I can allow only this type of editing in the document. No changes, in other words, just read only document can't make any changes tracked changes so if people make changes I can see what changes have been made uh, they can make comments as we saw in the previous video you can make comments very nice if you want to send a document to someone you don't want them to change it but you do want them to comment and leave comments on things that's quite handy uh, and filling in forms if you have form elements on your uh, pages let's go with no changes and see what that does I'm gonna just say yes start enforcing protection Yes, I'm not gonna do a password this time because you can actually do a password with this as well. So there's like two layers of security there. So I'm just gonna click okay. Now, if you have a look here, I'm trying to type on the keyboard. 
I'm trying to delete stuff. Nothing's happening. I can't do anything. I can't even delete that picture. I can't do anything. Look, everything's grayed out. Okay. It is literally a read only document. Okay. So I can go ahead and just stop protection there and then I can carry on editing the document. All right. The other options, which I'll just show you very quickly, back to info, back to protect, uh, is a digital signature. Don't worry about that. That's uh, completely not what we do in CAT grade 10 and mark as final. Let me show you what mark as final does. Actually, I'm going to be saving this, saving this and do that. Now, I've marked this document as a final document. Watch what happens when I open it. Boom. Big yellow bar at the top there, marked as a final. An author has marked this document as final to discourage editing. And I mean, you can go like, oh, okay, cool. I ain't gonna touch that. Or you can be a real rebel and go edit anyway. And then you can edit it. But <laughs> so you see, some of them are quite secure. Some of them are just for when you're working in a team with others. But don't forget file, info, protect document. And those are all the ways we can protect and secure our Word documents.